<laughs> it's, blowing, it's blowing an absolute gale. So it's July in Great Britain and it's I'm cold. <laughs> it's blowing. I hope you can hear me. It's, I'll turn my back to the wind. It's blowing an absolute gale. Um, and I'm here in uh, Cricket, which I'll get slated by Welsh speakers for my pronunciation. I imagine Cricket, Cricket, Cricket. Um, let me know how you pronounce it. But uh, it's uh, a coastal town, uh, obviously on the coast of Wales, uh, with a nice castle and a beach. Um, and I'm trying to get some sort of um, composition. Challenge being, uh, it's blowing a gale. Uh, it's incredibly cloudy, um, but it's also quite bright. Um, so hopefully you can see nice bay here, castle on the hill. It's a little bit of hats almost flying off. The hat has returned. Someone asked where the hat has been. It's back. Um, you can see the castle on the hill. It's the occasional spot of sunshine shining through the clouds. Um, but I've just set up and I'm going to have a little bit of a a play. Um, I might try here or there's some rocks just down there, rock pools. Might try out there uh, and then I might try a bit closer to the castle. Um, but let's say not been here since I was maybe six or seven. So uh, just a few years ago. Um, but I'll, um, I'll see what I can do. I, I'm loving the, I'm loving the waves. <laughs> so I'm still in the same spot. <laughs> um, I've got my shorts on and I've got goosebumps. Is that coals? Ridiculous. Um, anyway, um, I've got a composition I'm quite happy with. And so I try and um, def deflect the microphone from the wind as much as possible, but um, it is blowing really strongly. So I apologize for all the wind noise uh, in advance. But um, I've got a composition um, that I'll just talk you through, but I'll go through the setup first. I've dropped in a, a graduated filter just to take the brightness out of the sky a little bit and I'm trying to work on a composition that it allows these incoming waves to lead the eye to, to the castle if that makes sense so I'll, I'll show you on the camera uh, I'm on f22 because I've used kind of hyperfocal calculation so pre-focused uh, down here using f22 because I do want the waves in the foreground to be um, relatively sharp. I also want the castle to be relatively sharp. So I've used hy hyperfocal distance, F22 obviously to give me a big depth of field. And I'll just try and talk you through it. Sorry, I've got to turn now towards the wind. Just try and talk you through the composition. I'll brighten it so you can see. Um, so you can see the castles in my kind of center spot. I have to darken it a little bit. I, hope, I don't know if you can see the waves coming in here. Uh, and I'm trying to grab the waves uh, just as they come round and lead the eye so um, drop that down it's a wave coming in now I'll show you on here rather than the camera and hopefully hopefully what I got then um, was the wave in the bottom left hand corner um, of the the image leading towards uh, the castle I think that's <laughs> the tides actually going out but I think the wind is blowing um, kind of the waves off a bit so hopefully that's kind of leading the eye around. There's a little bit of brightness coming in the sky, so it's helping me by illuminating the castle a bit more. It'd be great if we got a bit more sun. Oh, almost lost my hat again on the castle. Um, but I'm going to work on that a little bit. I, I keep my fingers crossed. I think there's, there's a bit of sun coming, so uh, let's see how we go. Gee whiz. Wow, I've, got, <laughs> I've almost got to hold on. I'm, I know it's going to be really, really noisy on the microphone, but it's the wind has got even better. It's blowing an absolute gale. Um, but I've come closer to the castle. Um, so previously, sorry about the wind, uh, I was further around the bay, right across there. Uh, and I did, I, I went further around to uh, try and get some rocks um, in the foreground, but um, I was down at sea level. Um, but the wind was blowing so much. It was just a constant battle, in fact, that reminds me constant battle to stop spray um, blowing onto the camera so there's just water salt spray on the front on the uh, the filter the whole time so I've come here and I, I was again sorry but I was down there but again there was a a real problem a real problem um, with salt spray so I've come up onto this 
pier, um, breaker. Oh, lost my hat, my hat blew off, went down the beach, some lad uh, saved it for me, so it's in the bag. Um, but hopefully you can see this nice mini bay with uh, kind of the, the sea leading around to the castle. There's a bit of blue sky coming. Um, so wind's blowing in my face, so I'm thinking that that blue sky is going to um, uh, open up to a bit more sun shining on the castle so uh, when it does <laughs> if I haven't blown away uh, I'll come back and uh, talk to you take some photos Woohoo! sun is out <laughs> look at that look at that this is summer in Wales it's, like, it's, it's got a bit warmer because the sun's come out but um, Still as windy as hell. Um, oh, should I say hell? Donald Trump got in trouble for saying hell, didn't he? Windy as heck. Um, so, sun is out. Just had the camera turned that way to uh, prevent um, kind of the water splashing on it. But I'll show you the composition I'm working on. So, here we go. There's the castle. I've, like, I've really, really obviously brightened that so you can see the castle. And then dropping the the exposure down here's the waves coming in bottom corner leads the eye round to the castle I'm on f22 again because I do want the foreground uh, in detail and I want the castle in detail I've used hyperfocal uh, distance so check out my I'll put a link up there somewhere to that uh, video um, but I've also got my polarizer in just for the, the bit of darkness in the blue but also to take some of the sheen off the rocks in the foreground and then I've got a, an ND filter in as well take some of the brightness out of the sky because obviously there's a big contrast between those clouds uh, and the castle but it's a fairly straightforward composition what I'm waiting for is just some nice waves coming in so get the timing right so uh, they're hitting the rocks but uh, that the rocks aren't too uncovered and I do apologize here we go again I do apologize about the wind um, it's not really a problem for taking the photographs other than so turn that off other, other than kind of a hat blowing off um, and there is a, unless you're firmly planted with your tripod obviously you could get go over uh, you'll also notice I don't have a camera strap on someone commented about my camera strap uh, in previous images I do have my camera strap on sometimes uh, but if it's windy like this take it off because it uh, the wind blows it becomes a bit like a kite uh, and it uh, uh, it uh, adds some movement to the camera so I'm going to take a few more here wait for a bit more sun and blue sky changed hats <laughs> this one's less likely to blow off um, and I've come to the other side of the castle uh, so I took um, the photos round on that pier and uh, worked on that for a bit and then I thought I come around and, and see what the other side of the castle was like. Um, not quite as photogenic, um, largely because there's a, a row of cars, and I, I just I don't like um, images with cars in for some reason. I don't know why. I just I think it ages images um, after a couple of years. Uh, uh, so, but anyway, um, but there is quite the, these nice. Uh, uh, these are called groins, I think, aren't they? So the waves are coming in quite nicely. So I've set up a, um, a portrait shot looking along um, these waves and then with the castle in the top corner. So I'll go on live view and show you what I'm, I'm up to. Um, so I'll, I'll brighten that up. So there's the castle up here uh, and I've got the waves coming along, uh, which is quite nice. The, the, oh, there's a big one. Hope it doesn't get my feet wet. <laughs> um, but it's, it, it's quite nice to get that line. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm going to work on that a little bit. Um, interestingly, I'm going to. I was on F22 because that was the settings for previously. But I'm going to change uh, to F9, but focus on the waves. So the castle just becomes a kind of bit of background interest, and hopefully the waves become the foreground interest. keep worrying I'm going to get wet feet but 
I think I'm all right. So I'll set that up and then uh, I'll come back to you. So sun's come out a bit and uh, feel like I, just gonna take a quick image, feel like I could, uh, oh, actually that's quite nice because the, right, the reason I was taking an the image then is because uh, sun was shining on the castle but not in the foreground. Uh, clouds are moving over quickly. So anyway, I told a lie in the previous clip uh, because I've moved, I said I was gonna come back to you there but I've not, I've moved on the basis that I was looking at these houses with the nice colours, so I'm going to include them. Um, and uh, I just came along, nice circumstance, there's some nice rocks here in the, um, in the waves, but also the distance between these two groins is bigger, so the waves seem to be bigger. So it's a nicer composition, I think, than the previous one. So just kind of lighten that. The houses are up here castles here and then I've got the rocks right slap bang in the middle um, I'm on f9 um, but I've used hyperfocal on those rocks so I'm just waiting for the waves to be and, and there's a nice set of waves coming in there so ni nice big crashing waves coming in waves seem kind of more energy here than back there so I think the composition uh, is going to be helped by that um, Gonna take that one because I could feel a big wave coming in there. <laughs> yeah, quite nice. So we'll see how those turn out. But yeah, it's quite a lot of blue sky now. Well, I just got my feet wet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I was down there and a big wave came in. But anyway, um, I moved along the beach a little bit, taking some more, uh, just a bit closer but um, I'll decide when I've um, kind of processed them which ones I prefer but it's the first time I'm just going to move you so you're not pointing at the sun I think it's the first time today that I'm not in the wind uh, because of this groin is acting as a windbreak so it's quite pleasant um, but that's going to be the end of the film so uh, hope you've enjoyed the, the visits to um, this part of Wales and the castle and the wind and the surf uh, uh, and all that type of thing just the uh, kind of a, a word of um, warning or advice when you've been out in a marine environment like this when you get back make sure you clean your camera down well because uh, salt water and uh, camera equipment don't work I've been cleaning the lens off all the time um, during the day but uh, when I get back to the car I'll give the camera a good clean with a, a dry cloth to get rid of any salt or anything so just just make sure you do that so hope you've enjoyed the trip um, comments, likes, all that sort of malarkey would be great. And uh, I hope to see you again soon on the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.